athletics is arguably your biggest Olympic sport, so there's always a fascination around discovering who's going to be the next track superstar. Today I'm here at the Lee Valley Athletic Center with Sports Aid to meet one of those whose stock is very much on the rise after a phenomenal year. Hi, I'm Yemi Mary John and this season in 2023 I became European Under 23 Champion and won two medals, bronze and silver, at my first Senior World Championship. Where does your fire come from? Do you have to win at everything? <laughs> <laughs> I think I am quite competitive, whether it's a Monopoly game or a race. <laughs> yeah, I definitely think <laughs> sometimes um, I can be quite strong-headed, wanting to win. Can she become the first British woman to win a global title at the Under-20 Championships? And yes, she can. The crown, the tiara. The crown. You know, it means a lot to me, my little symbol, my little celebration. Where did it come from? Where did, where did the idea stem from originally? Honestly, it's just, I always like dressing up as a princess and I feel like, the track's my palace, and I think rightfully so, I crown myself. <laughs> I think it shows my confidence, but I'm still able to stay humble and stay focused on the grind, but celebrate when the time's right and enjoy the moment and just have fun with it, really. It's gonna get to the line first. Yemi Mary John fighting, Jaeger falls through. It is Yemi Mary John. You've gone from being inspired to now being the inspiration. Yeah. like for others looking up to you how do you find that yeah i think it's even inspiring for me that i can be inspirational because it definitely drives me to do more and want to do more tell us about the work you do away from the track as well and particularly yeah. volunteering so i mentioned that i'm quite passionate about my vocational life and my faith definitely really feeds into it so recently with my church i volunteered in a homeless shelter which was something that definitely well, motivated me to also work harder whether it's people that are less able, whether it's less fortunate people, just help in any way I can. When you're given a platform, you're given power, and I think it's used, important to use that power wisely and just use it for as a force for good. You are the winner of this year's One to Watch Sports Aid Award. I'm really happy to have presented the award to Yemi today. I'm really blown away by how much she does, not just uh, on the track, but outside track. I think it's a great uh, inspiration for her peers, so that you can juggle the two and do the two successfully. You know, I'm really proud of her. I think she should be really proud of herself also. Sports Aid, just as a whole organisation, definitely means a lot to me. They've supported me from really early on in my career, so I appreciate their recognition and support um, always. I'm hoping that this award will continue to inspire her to keep reaching, to keep wanting to be the athlete that causes a stir and mixes things up. Someone mentioned that I was the first person to be on the top 10 and then win it the next year. So yeah, it's definitely a nice feeling to be one of the first to do something. So really appreciate it. Heading into next year, Paris, the Olympic year coming up. It's definitely a big one. It's my first proper Olympic season so pressure is definitely on but I love pressure diamonds are made under pressure so definitely ready to flourish and aim big what is the ultimate goal the dream just being able to inspire and just show people that you can definitely achieve what you want to if you work hard at it <laughs>